I don't want people to get buzzed or burnt out by what happened here in 2022. Yeah, I was going to ask you if, and I thought I knew the answer, uh, but you just said it, if this makes you reconsider being involved in this industry. I mean, you've written books about Mm -hmm. Bitcoin and about Algorand, and I think it's clear that decentralization is important and that trust and trustless Mm -hmm. environment that you can actually create with decentralization. Mm -hmm. I like the answer that you're still in this. So is that the focal point for you? I'm not going anywhere. Although I did, I did give a speech over the weekend. I said I was I was six foot five when I met Donald Trump, <laughs> and I was six foot one when I met Sam Bankman Fried. But look at me now. You know, look at me now. Okay, but I'm not going anywhere. Welcome to Token Topics. XLM and Stronghold are the topics. We're going to look into the latest news and development and more. Right now, a hot topic for XLM holders has been the United Nations utilizing for stellar aid assists to reach victims of the war in Ukraine, out to refugees, and there's going to be a lot more use cases coming out. Also, XLM is being utilized by the ICICI Bank, which is connected to the Reserve Bank of India. That is a big deal, and there's a lot more partnerships going on behind the scenes. And Stronghold is definitely a great hold. Businesses and merchants around the world will be utilizing this technology. And the SHX token, I believe, is a great hold as an investment. So you don't want to miss this video. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe for a potential chance to win a free biometric wallet. I'm going to get into that and more. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. If you have not subscribed to Token Topics, this is the best time to subscribe to the channel for your chance to win a free biometric hardware wallet. Decent Wallet is running a special giveaway event for new Token Topics subscribers. All new subscribers can enter for a chance to win a free biometric wallet until we reach the goal. Now to be fair and random, one person will be chosen out of every 500 new subscribers. If you've been a loyal fan for a long time, you can enter an alternative YouTube channel as long as it's a new subscription and an active account. And it's very simple. All you have to do to participate is fill out the form and submit it. In the description below will be a link to fill out this form. If you wish to participate in a decent wallet giveaway, this form is for collecting the YouTube name, YouTube handle, and email address. For every 500 new subscribers, I will pick a lucky winner to receive a free biometric hardware wallet. The event will continue until we reached our goal of 18,000 subscribers. So we need about 2,500 new subscribers. If you are a lucky winner, I will contact you from blocktopics at gmail.com with email that you provided to let you know that you've won to gather the shipping details. Keep in mind that every 500 new subscribers, one lucky winner will be chosen and announced. So stay tuned so you can hear the announced winners important by entering your information it is safe and confidential and will not be resold to another party if you do win token topics will reach out reach out to you by email only at official block topics at gmail.com any other email or means of contact is not official token topics is not responsible for any hardware or technical issues you must contact decent official for any questions returns or any warranty claims Good luck. If you see my most recent Stellar XLM video, I spoke on how the United Nations is utilizing XLM to reach refugees in Ukraine. And they created what's called Stellar Aid Assist. And this is some more information on it. Stellar just recently posted that introducing Stellar Aid Assist, a first of its kind blockchain solution, enabling relief organizations to deliver instant and transparent digital aid globally. Let's go ahead and look into this. Deliver aid instantly in masses over the world's most efficient network. Blockchain technology provides traceability of funds to mitigate fraud and ensure aid goes to those who need it. Recipients just need a mobile phone, no bank account needed. Tap into an expansive geographic reach with cash allocations in over 185 countries. Leverage stable coins to offer a stable store of value to recipients. Deliver aid sustainably and at a low cost using the Stellar network. As we can see, Stellar network is going to be a vital network 
and the new monetary system, and in fact the United Nations is utilizing it, speaks for itself. In a revealing conversation with Danielle Dixon and Anthony Scaramucci, takes us behind the scenes into the days he spent with SBF before the FTX collapse, and despite the sideshow, shares why he's not going anywhere. I don't want people to get buzzed or burnt out by what happened here in 2022. Yeah, I was going to ask you if, and I thought I knew the answer, uh, but you just said it, if this makes you reconsider being involved in this industry. I mean, you've written books about Mm -hmm. Bitcoin and about Algorand, and I think it's clear that decentralization is important and that trust and trustless Mm -hmm. environment that you can actually create with decentralization. Mm -hmm. I like the answer that you're still in this. So is that the focal point for you? I'm not going anywhere. Although I did, I did give a speech over the weekend. I said I was I was six foot five when I met Donald Trump, <laughs> and I was six foot one when I met Sam Bankman Fried. But look at me now. You know, look at me now. Okay, but I'm not going anywhere. Stellar XLM holders should not go anywhere either. Keep holding those bags. I put this in my latest video, but in case XLM fans did not see it, the Reserve Bank of India has a connection with the Stellar Network, and I'm going to show you in this article. So this was put out by Kamlash Nagwire. Reserve Bank of India's central bank digital currency operates on blockchain, but they didn't mention which blockchains. This is where you have to read between the lines. So let's go ahead to this article. So it states right here, the Reserve Bank of India Central Bank Digital Currency, or CBDC, is currently in trial phase. It's in pilot and has components based on blockchain technology, Union Minister of State Finance said in a written reply to a question. The minister said that RBI involved eight banks in the phase retail pilot project. The first phase includes the State Bank of India, the ICICI Bank. Right there, ICICI Bank. We could just connect a dot right here with this older article. The Indian fintech sector has lately been in the news a lot. And yet another milestone achievement. One of the leading banks institutions, the ICICI, has partnered with Stellar Blockchain right there. Now, if you've been studying the Stellar Network and you're an XLM holder, you know that they're partnered with a lot more partners than just this. But during the same time frame and the same announcement, uh, it was all, they also partnered with a few others, too. There's Coins PH, a Philippines-based mobile financial service provider. Also, Flutterware, an African financial platform. And Tempo Money, which is a French remittance service provider. The list goes on with the Stellar Partnerships and Connections. And just recently, with the whole United Nations, as I stated before, that speaks for itself. Now on to Stronghold. If you're an XLM fan, you should know about Stronghold. Stronghold is using IBM Blockchain Worldwire, which is built on Stellar Protocol. If I was in search of a side bag to hold, I would choose Stronghold. Partner with IBM, utilizing Stellar Protocol, already partnered with businesses and merchants around the world, and I'm sure much more is in the pipeline for this business. So Stronghold uses a stable coin, but merchants are rewarded in SHX tokens every time a transaction is made. And SHX tokens are the ones that you can actually invest in. Now, currency is what makes the world turn. Let's watch the latest Stronghold 101 episode where Lena traces the history of currency all the way back to its roots. Types of payment, money, currency, and coins all overlap. And as societies, we're transitioning beyond bartered trade to payments with money. What really defined the shift to currency? Let's say this, money is value or an abstraction of value. Currency is the unit of measure. China has been an early adopter of new forms of currency, from squares of deer skin to today's digital yuan. Metal worked well for currency because the metal itself has worth. But metal is also heavy to carry around. Paper money began as a representation of those metal coins. The first bank note for European coins was issued in Canada. In 1685, the colonial governors issued cash to use in place of French coins. In 1816, England set gold as the standard value for backing paper money, and the United States followed but with the devaluation of gold during the Depression, the U.S. first dropped the gold standard in 1933. After World War II, it was partially reinstituted, and it wasn't until 1973 that the U.S. dollar became a free-floating fiat currency. The worth of a fiat currency depends on the international exchange market. A central bank of an issuing country may intervene through economic policy to manage the value of its currency, 
Essentially, our faith in a government is what backs fiat currencies. With the arrival of Bitcoin in 2009, cryptocurrencies challenged the idea that currency must be sovereign. And instead of just representing money electronically through, say, a credit card payment, crypto created the currency itself out of technology. Here at Stronghold, we issued the SHX token as a digital currency within our payments ecosystem. We put it to real world use in our rewards program, and it also enables us to build virtual payment networks customized for specific purposes. We've come to the end of this video, but the history of currency will continue far into the future as new possibilities for money, coins, and currency emerge. All right, Stronghold recently posted, customers expect ease, speed, and credibility when it comes time to make a payment on your site. These factors can make or break the success of your e-commerce business. Let's go ahead and look into this article. So Stronghold, this fintech makes it easy to run your e-commerce store. No matter what you're selling, your customer expects a level of ease, speed, and credibility when it comes to buying anything online. For most e-commerce businesses, three consumer must-haves can make or break a transaction's success and a customer's likelihood of returning. Accepting card payments from all brands at low fees. Of course, that's important. Optimize conversion with a fully branded checkout experience. Make payment easy at your in-person pop-ups. If you'd like to read through the article, I'll put it down below. As I stated before, they have a stable coin, but every transaction to reward in SHX tokens. Let's learn more about the rewards. Most likely participated in some sort of rewards program. Say a punch card from a local coffee shop or airline mileage points. You get the idea, it's about cultivating loyalty. But usually it's retailers doing the offering and often with limited use rewards. With Stronghold's reward program, you, the technology merchant or technology integrator, get to be the recipient. Our payments network has grown substantially and we're saying, hey, thanks for choosing us to process your transactions. Another unique aspect of our rewards program, we built it around Stronghold's SHX crypto token, which is listed on a growing number of top global centralized cryptocurrency exchanges. The ways to redeem awards range from immediate cost savings within our network to possibilities with SHX, which could involve long-term holding or a connection with the broader economy. Here are the basics of how the Stronghold Rewards program works for enrolled merchants. For each dollar of transaction volume processed through Stronghold, we post one point to your account. Then you have options. You could redeem them for a rebate on processing fees. You could redeem them to increase the partnership fee payable from Stronghold. You can redeem them for Stronghold's SHX tokens with more options coming in the future. These are practical, meaningful rewards designed to increase momentum for all members of Stronghold's ecosystem. And by integrating Stronghold's SHX crypto token, we're laying the groundwork for exciting developments in the future of payments, digital currency, and all of financial technology. We appreciate the merchants and partners who are growing with us, helping to drive these changes, and we look forward to providing Stronghold's merchants and technology partners with rewards. DecentWall is still running a special through the holidays. Through the affiliate link, it's only $99. With uncertainty in the market and exchanges going down and talk about blackouts, it's imperative to get your crypto off the exchanges and onto a hardware wallet. I'm going to put the affiliate links in the description below. All right, Stellar fans and Stronghold fans, that's all I have for the video. As always, I thank you for watching and please put your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and enter for a chance to win a free biometric wallet.